Welcome to our video on how to upload warning and safety information in bulk to comply with the General Product Safety Regulation, also known as the GPSR. In this video, we will guide you through the steps to bulk upload product documents, such as a user manual or safety attestations in Seller Central for your SKUs, using a single store template. After logging into your Seller Central account, go to the Catalog drop-down menu and select Add products via upload. Open the Download Spreadsheet tab. Select the card List products that are not currently in Amazon's catalogue from the list, even if the product is already listed. In order to upload product documents to your SKU, you must generate a spreadsheet for a single product type and a single store in the official language of that store, for example German for Germany. The system allows you to generate a spreadsheet for more than one product type, but you must select only one. It doesn't matter that the product group only matches one of the products you want to upload the documents for. If the Select the stores where you want to create offers step is displayed, go to the Select language to enter product details section and select the official language of the store, which will automatically mark the selected store as default and grey it out. Then deselect the remaining stores and Europe and continue with the next step. If a message appears above the Generate Spreadsheet button that prompts you to download the beta version of a template, opt in. This will ensure the template has the required attributes. If this message doesn't appear, it means the required attributes are not yet available for the selected product type and store, but will be at a later date. To upload product documents for that product type and store, follow the steps under the Manage Inventory section on the About Product Documents help page. Click Generate Spreadsheet at the bottom of the page. Open the Excel file from the download list in your browser and enable editing if needed. Go to the Template sheet and make sure rows 1 to 10 are not hidden to see translations of row 4 in English. Then, fill in the following mandatory attributes. In column A, which is named contribution underscore SKU hash 1 dot value, enter the SKU. In column B, which is named record underscore action hash 1 dot value, select partial update from the drop-down menu. In column C, which is named product underscore type hash 1 dot value, enter the product type you use to create the template. Now locate either the Safety and Compliance or Compliance section of the sheet, which is highlighted in purple. You can also use the search function by clicking the Ctrl and F buttons to look for the Safety and Compliance section. Scroll to the last column in the Safety and Compliance section to find the columns for product documents and the safety attestation. If the columns are hidden, click the plus sign in the Excel header below the formula bar to unhide the columns. There are 17 columns for documents and one column for the safety attestation. You will also see six columns for the PS01 to PS06 image variants. But if you do want to upload images, we recommend you use the Image Manager instead, where you can upload the images directly from your drive. If your product doesn't require warning and safety information, as it can be used safely and as intended without it, you can provide a safety attestation. To do so, enter YES in the GPSR underscore safety underscore attestation column. If your product does require warning and safety information and you want to provide a document, enter the document link in the relevant columns. Use the URL where your product document is stored which must be a direct download link, rather than a shareable link that opens the PDF in a browser. Remember that you must provide the document in the language specified in the column header. If you're uploading a document, you only need to provide one to comply with our GPSR policy. We accept patient fact sheets, provider fact sheets, installation manuals, instructions for use, user guides, user manuals and safety information. You can find descriptions in the Permitted Product Documents table on the About Product Documents help page. If you want to add documents or a safety attestation for other SKUs, 
use new rows in the inventory file template and repeat the same process. Save the template on your local drive and close it. Then go back to Catalogue and select Add Products via Upload. Open the Upload your spreadsheet tab and then you can either drag and drop your file or search on your computer. Once your file is uploaded, the automatic validation process will start. If you see the Validation Failed message, take the recommended steps to correct any errors. Then click Replace and upload the updated file. Once you get a Validation Completed message, click Submit Products. Open the Spreadsheet Upload Status tab. If the status is Action Required, take the recommended steps to correct any errors and replace the file. When the status changes to Done, the document is sent to our review team for further validation. If you see a warning or notes in the summary file, they won't necessarily block the document from being uploaded. Repeat these steps for any additional stores. It may take up to 14 working days for your submission to be reviewed. Documents that don't adhere to the Amazon guidelines for product documents will be rejected. Uploading a document doesn't guarantee that it will be displayed, even if it is approved. When documents are received from multiple users, Amazon selects the submission that meets the style guides and standards, providing the best experience for customers. We store all approved documents offline so they can be used in the future if necessary. You must take the steps separately for each EU store that you sell in. That wraps up our video on how to upload product safety information using an inventory file template. Thank you and happy selling!